Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you the tool tip for Power BI buttons. So Power BI has some inbuilt buttons like the information button, the back, forward and all. And sometimes for a button like information button, you may want to display some statistic or dynamic uh, tool tip. So in that case, uh, how you can do that is something what I will show you. And uh, before that, a quick information that this sheet is present in the description so that you can view all of my previously uploaded videos by searching it easily based on your requirement and jumping onto that video directly by clicking it a link from here. All right. So let's move on to the, the topic. So first thing is we need to add a button um, to display the tooltip. So for that, I will go in the insert buttons and i will let's say get the information button so here is the information button right and for this information button right now if you see i'm i'm hovering my mouse over to this button but there is no tooltip so the first thing to add the tooltip what we need to do is enable the action over here in the format button option as you can see uh, in the action you have this button type keep it default or whatever you want to uh change you can change it but for now i'm keeping it default tooltip first thing first is statistic tooltip something like a text this is a tooltip okay so now if i'm going over here you will see that this is a tooltip but i want to go a one step ahead and let's say we want to show some high level statistics something you know which which is uh, management or end user is basically looking for example, what is the total sales? What is the total customer count or a unique customer count or things like those? So in that scenario, what we may need to do is we may need to create a dynamic or a, a measure which will show this. So first thing first, I'll remove this. The next thing is I will create a new measure. So I'll go into the home and uh, we should have something like new measure here. So when we click on new measure, uh, it will show me this and uh, we will say sales underscore tooltip and I will write some under sum of sales right use ampersand in the quotation double quotation I will write is the total sales maybe clock something like this or whatever you want to write so what I am doing is I am creating a dynamic tooltip something like showing the sales along with the text and you click OK with this and you have the sales tooltip over here. Now to bring this tooltip onto this button. So onto this button, first thing is you select the button in the format button. You have action already enabled. Go into this FX function FX. So keep make sure you have this field value selected and based on the field, which is sales tooltip. Over here, you select the sales tooltip and click OK. So once you have selected this, you will view that it's 2.29 million is what you have is the total sales which is being clocked. And now based on this, whatever information you may want to show, like for example, you have customer count, you have quantity of product or anything, you know, uh, which will be meaningful to show it as part of the very high level statistic. It's something what you can show it over here. So that's very quickly I wanted to show how you can display this information, uh, both static and dynamic. And I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.